Hey everybody, and welcome to Let's Look at Fist Puncher. First off, great name. Fits right into the role Fizzle Beef canon of names, I gotta say. Uh, this is a game uh, that is coming out on Steam, or actually, I guess, has come out on Steam by the time this video has been up. Uh, it's a side-scrolling beat-em-up reminiscent of games like Streets of Rage, uh, River City Ransom. I almost said Retro City Rampage there, but it's not really like that at all. Um... And I guess like Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles 4, Turtles in Time, kind of similar to that. Uh, it's from Adult Swim Games, who are obviously the same guys who published uh, Super Puzzle Platformer Deluxe, as well as Super House of Dead Ninjas already this year, and it's uh, public or developed by uh, Team 2-Bit Games. And we gotta talk about this, because there's already a 17-bit games and an 11-bit studios. I don't know how many more bits this industry can support, but in any case, why don't we just jump into a level here, uh, and you will get a feel pretty quickly for what's going on in Fist Puncher. I've spent about an hour and a half with this game so far, very reminiscent of, of games that I was a big fan of uh, when I was a kid, you know, games again like Turtles in Time, etc, etc. Uh, so, uh, first things first, it's worth noting that there are a lot of uh, people that we can play as here, and you actually unlock more characters as you progress through the game. So there's Officer O'Grady, Kid Justice, uh, both of these guys I got by uh, kind of beating them in a boss battle, Dr. Karate, Steroid Jackson and the Beekeeper, who is the person I've been playing as primarily, uh, so I'm gonna play as her because all of her stats are like really built up. So there are RPG elements in the game, as cliche as that is to say. Uh, every time you beat a level, you have the opportunity to um, uh, upgrade your statistics, but or upgrade your attributes, I should say. This is the first zombie level, so don't take this as being like, oh, this game is buying into the zombie phenomenon. You know, World War Z is coming out this weekend, but it, this is just a, I promise you, a rare coincidence. Uh, in any case, Basically what we're doing here, I, I wouldn't necessarily call the game a button masher, there are special abilities that uh, characters have. Uh, but you can kind of succeed, or I've been able to succeed so far, uh, via button mashing. There are also uh, special abilities that everybody has, so some of the abilities for the beekeeper are as follows. If, like, if I hold the right trigger, and I am using the Xbox uh, 360 controller here. If I hold the right trigger and I kind of throw out the X button here, that'll throw out these bees. These bees kind of function like attack flies in the Binding of Isaac, like they do damage. Uh, initially, but then they also kind of form a swarm that can follow me around and, and help me out defensively or offensively. There is also a, uh, like a kick that I can do, and that actually causes us to level up there, which is awesome. And there is, uh, this kick, which is kind of like a spinning roundhouse that also creates a swarm of bees, and we should be able to get, uh, some awesome experience here. Uh, is that an A on the ground? Okay, it is. So you might be wondering what some of these letters. Basically, it's like Tony Hawk's Pro Skater, except instead of picking up, uh, like, skate and getting a, a tape or something, uh, in this we're gonna pick up R-A-G-E to get rage. Again, I promise you, the zombie reference is totally coincidental. Um, but yes, uh, by picking up Rage, uh, we'll be able to do uh, a lot more damage and take a lot more damage as well. So, we're still fairly early on in the game here. I don't anticipate anything being too difficult, uh, except for the bosses. The bosses have actually been fairly uh, hard so far. I mean, there's a way to pretty easily, uh, scam them, uh, or, or cheese them, I guess is a better way to put it, because you're not actually, like, taking their money in some kind of Nigeri Nigerian, uh, scam. Uh, that being said, uh, there's a way to cheese them, but uh, I've died largely to bosses when I have died in this game, and I have died. Uh, I can't remember if there's difficulty settings, but if there are, I'm playing on normal. If not, then I'm playing on the same difficulty setting you'll be playing on. So we're just gonna beat up these guys. Levels have a tendency to be on the short side, which I think is beneficial, because my main problem with beat-em-ups, you know, if you if you watch my video of, like, Sacred Citadel, I guess, you know, you might call them brawlers as well, but uh, if you watch my video on Sacred Citadel, I can't stand games that have, like, er, th these mechanics, but are really long when it comes to their levels, because I don't think it plays to their strengths, you know, uh, brawlers or beat-em-ups have a tendency to be really, really goddamn repetitive. Uh, so I think the more it breaks up the action, the better, and Fist Puncher is actually very, very smart about that. Uh, so we got some dialogue here. The dialogue is very self-aware, you know, it's tongue-in-cheek, uh, similar to something like a bad dude's like, Are you a bad enough dude to rescue the president? And it's got a lot of that kind of stuff in it. So the caretaker says, You might defeat me, but my minions will still rip you to shreds. That was maybe not the best example of the, the kind of characteristic dialogue. So I'm throwing out all these bees. Uh, the thing that makes these uh, bosses much more annoying than their uh, like more normal minion counterpart is they actually can counter these bees by just kicking them away. Uh, so my number one mechanic, uh, or number one strategy to beat these guys, uh, kind of falls by the wayside. Sadly, that is just another A. One of my major complaints is that the fucking letters for rage rarely drop in the right order, so you know, I'll, I'll be sitting on rag and just constantly getting more RAs and Gs. Uh, for a hundred years here. I also do have a, a, a flash heal ability, which I'll use in a second here, like so, uh, that I can use to use some of my meter up there in the top left uh, to to heal myself, which is very, very important, because again, these guys pains in the asses. Good news is, uh, even if I end up losing here, there is a, um, a, a pretty lenient, oh, see, if he parries them at the right time, he actually gets uh, health back, which is really annoying. Um, but uh, there is a fairly lenient checkpoint system, so odds are, uh, even if I lose this one, which is a, a definite possibility, 
uh, I will just come back at the boss fight. It's not like I have to do the whole level again. Okay, so here we're actually going to get the E. This is only the third time I've gotten Rage in my entire time with the game so far. So as you can see, I can still take damage, but I'm also doing a lot more damage. And all of a sudden, I just randomly died there, which kind of surprised me. I didn't... I guess I wasn't paying too much attention to my health bar, and, uh... He was kicking my ass, so let's, uh, just try this again. This is a fairly common occurrence for me to die, uh, fighting the, uh, dude over and over. Sorry, fighting the boss. Usually I die one or two times, uh, and then I just come back and beat him. But unfortunately, I, I do hate to say this, but, uh, if I'm being honest, most of the time when I beat bosses, I, I just take out the minions first, and then I just jump kick and just keep running away. So basically I'm playing, like, miniature dive kick here. Let's get these bees out here because I can't really risk throwing bees at him because when I throw bees at him uh, He fucking just uh, you know gets some health back sometimes so instead oftentimes end up ends up being a whole lot of doing this Which I'm not necessarily the biggest fan of that being said, you know beat em ups aren't necessarily known for their strategy I do think this is a totally competent beat em up by the way my only real gripe about the game uh, is that at 10 bucks, it's maybe a little bit pricey uh, for where I would like to see it. Uh, it's not to say it's cost prohibitive, I mean $10 is, is not a lot to ask for, uh, for a game like this, uh, but I would have liked to see it more in that like $5 range, you know, the same range that Super House of Dead Ninjas came out at, but uh, I, it, that's my major gripe. Apart from that, this is very much a game where it, it, I think it's fair to say that what you see is what you get. Uh, the value of the game lies in uh, the fact that it's reminiscent of those uh, kind of nostalgia fueled brawlers. Uh, so if you played those as a kid, you might be totally into this. Uh, beyond that, also the humor of the game as well. Again, it's very tongue in cheek, and hopefully we'll see some examples of that. Like the genuine, the general story of what's going on here uh, is that uh, you know a, a evil milkman has kidnapped. Uh, all of the girls from like the fist puncher world pageant that we we're gonna have like a Miss uh, Universe type thing uh, And we have to go rescue them So I do have one level set up where I believe we're gonna be rescuing a girl that the, the setup is basically some of the levels uh, Are about rescuing girls and some of them are about getting to uh, Levels where you can rescue girls like this one for example, I guess uh, this might also be kind of a tutorial level So, you know, here's the thing it, it is a little bit disappointing that a lot of the boss fights Actually literally every boss fight I've had so far has been cheesed in this way or cheesable in this way, but um you know, shit happens, I suppose. I guess we're not quite at the end of the level yet. We're gonna go down into this crypt. Uh, and we're gonna fight some more zombies. Okay, this is a little bit longer than your, the average level that I've seen in Fist Puncher so far. And keep in mind when I say, like, the average, uh, this is coming from my personal experience so far, which is only after an hour or so of play, so it's possible that things change, uh, drastically over the, the course of the game, but anyway. Uh, I should mention, by the way, that even though I, I'm primarily button mashing here, oh, four keys unlock the secret of Cemetery Crypt. All right. I do not have four keys, but maybe we'll get some. Maybe I'm accidentally, like, turning this into some kind of dungeon crawler or roguelike or something. These crypt keys are hidden around the city. All right. I can accept that. You can return at any time after finding a key. Interesting to know. That is like my splinter there, my sensei, if you will. Uh, this guy is not quite dead yet. But yes, I, even though I am complaining about um, not having, or uh, just button mashing, there is like a combo system as, as well. But you unlock these combos as you play. So I can like do this roundhouse kick. I learned that uh, from leveling up recently. And I really hope that we can just exit the level here uh, in a second so that I can uh, show off the leveling up system because the RPG elements do add uh, something special to the game. So. Uh, let's just kill this bearded man first. I really wish there was like a kick him when they're down button if there is and, and I'm just missing it Then I apologize, but uh sure let's exit out here. That should be the end of the level if I had to guess So every time you level up uh, you get two Attribute points that you can put into uh, any of these traits right here So we can put this in strength speed defense special and honey um, Special is like our, our sp Special meter how fast it regenerates so since I use this a lot I like to uh, max this out as quickly as possible defense is obviously the amount of damage we take speed is our walking speed strength is the damage that we do and honey is um Something that increases the power of our uh, B attacks, so I wanted to uh, upgrade that as well So we'll assign that and save and then we'll move over here to our um, Perk section now. I don't have any perk points But basically sometimes when you level up you will get perk points and then you can assign these as you see fit So I've got uh, assigned the healing ability that I talked about the ability to automatically restore my special meter Which is the meter just below my HP uh, if I land a 25 hit combo or greater Which is actually really easy and that spin kick as mentioned, but there's other things like an HP boost Upgrade the B attack to throw two bees at a time, or you can uh, use like a raise the dead mechanic to kind of call bees back to you. Anyway, there's a loot that we have, there's our stats so far, as you can see, and uh, there's our scores. So why don't we uh, exit out here and then go check out uh, this level up here, where we have the help sign. So I'm expecting this is going to be a little bit more difficult uh, than your average level, or the average level that I've done so far, simply because this is a marquee level where we're going to be rescuing some kind of lady. By the way, you might be noticing that there was a uh, robot unicorn in one of those splashes. Uh, this is actually a pre-order bonus. I'm not sure if you can still get uh, the uh, robot unicorn. Do I want to go inside here? What's going on in all these things? Maybe it is like a... Oh, Jesus Christ. Uh, I thought it was like a, a River City Rampage thing uh, where we were going to be going inside all of these rooms and uh, 
you know, buying stuff, but apparently uh, we're just coming in here and then leaving. But we did get one of the crypt keys, which is awesome. Uh, let's see what's going on in this baseball one. 50% off all balls. Hilarious. Oh, I wonder if we can actually hit some of these back. Oh yeah. All right, that's kind of cool. So there's like a built-in mini game here. Uh, it's pretty simple. Still kind of neat though. Let's exit out. Uh, I wish I could have taken that uh, baseball bat with me. There are objects that you can like pick up and throw. All right, now we got some hooligans. What are these guys excited for? They're standing out in front of gun gunman. Okay, maybe I should just run through all of this. Nerds are awesome. Well, okay. You have the right to your opinion. <laughs> I'm just joking there, obviously. Uh, so let's just smash the shit out of these dudes with this spade that we have here, and we'll pick up this plunger and do the same thing. Uh, so yeah, I mean, you know, what you see is what you get with this game, uh, largely. Especially if you have a, you know, a, a kind of feeling or, or a precedent for uh, the Adult Swim games that have come out uh, fairly recent. Oh, they're in line for the Limon Phone 10. I get it. Uh, but yeah, these Adult Swim games have all had a fairly similar sense of humor so far and self-awareness, which is awesome. Uh, that being said, if it's not your cup of tea, I don't think Fist Puncher is, is, is gonna be your cup of tea. On a ga pure gameplay level, it's cool and it's fine, but uh, it's not necessarily, I don't know, maybe a good way to describe it is like on its own merits, it doesn't necessarily hold up as well as Super Puzzle Platformer Deluxe uh, or Super House of Dead Ninjas, but that being said, I still think it's a worthwhile time. Uh, there is a multiplayer mode uh, included here. I'm not sure if it's online though or if it's only local, and I can't seem to figure out how to get back to the, like, the selection where I can choose uh, which one to go with. So I don't even know if I have to murder all of these dudes, but I'm gonna do it anyway, just because it didn't seem like I could really uh, go anywhere. Oh, Guncraft. It's actually uh, an ad for uh, an indie game, interestingly enough, which makes sense. I wonder if Adult Swim is publishing that as well. If I had to guess, I would say that they probably are. We have leveled up like crazy so far here, which is kind of nice. Uh, hopefully we'll get a perk point at some point in the future. Uh, but for now, uh, let's just destroy these dudes with a sweet spinning kick of bees. And uh, they're all gonna be dead in a second. We got another G. We actually don't need that G though, so why don't we pick up... Uh that right there, which might give us a little extra special meter or something, and now we should be able to walk a little bit further. So, locked doors require keys. We have a key. So, can we go inside? Uh, apparently not. Uh, maybe we have to go in one of those stores. Or maybe we can just go in backstage. Okay. So, I don't know if this is like a Scott Pilgrim versus the world type thing. It's looking like it so far. Paranoid Parker, are you the one who put, my, put the camera in my house? I swear someone is listening to my phone calls. Alright, so we're just gonna have a... Uh, Boss fight against what I have to imagine is one of the uh, developers or something here. Uh, and again, this is the most unfortunate part of the game in my experience. I mean, you might be saying, why, you know, this is so slow, why don't you just go up and like mash the X button against him? Well, because, you know, they kill you very quickly when they hit you. Uh, so it, it's important to kind of be a little prudent defensively. And this is not going to take forever, it's going to take some time, but uh, again, I, I don't want to give him the bees because he can uh, parry the bees and gain extra HP. A lot of extra HP, like one parry is equal to like seven of these dive kicks, so uh, not necessarily the best idea. It's also, it, it's alright to do this sometimes and, you know, burn through my special meter because uh, it does a little bit more damage and it's a little bit more reliable, but as well, I like to just, uh, you know, use my uh, special meter to replenish my health. Uh, this reminds me of like the Wayne's World game for Super Nintendo, the way that the face is implemented here. So he's still not half dead. This could take us a little while here. And this might just be a mini boss. I don't know if this is the actual boss, but we'll see. And again, I, I really wish there was some way to hurt them when they were knocked down. I, I think there might be a way to pick them up. There's also a grab move in the game, by the way, that I have not really touched on uh, at all because I don't really use it. But uh, again, let's just keep doing some damage here. He's like 40% dead. Uh, we'll do some more of these spinning kicks. I wish that did a little bit more damage. I guess we could upgrade our uh, B and it will do more damage like that. Uh, you know, to be honest with you, I might be able to just spam the Bs at this point and, and take them out. Let's see. Oh, see, this is why I don't like to do it because it does so much damage. I mean, the Bs do a ton of damage as well, but it gives him the opportunity to heal, which is not nice. Uh, it does definitely speed up our progress though, so I just want to get a little bit more special meters so I can heal up and then I would be less paranoid about our uh, possibility of dying. Looks like our special meter is pretty good there. We've got an extra 20 HP. That being said, he probably takes out like 20 HP per hit. So again, this is like my least favorite part of the game so far beyond the price is that uh, these boss fights so often boil down to just doing this over and over and over and that's like kind of real silly to me. He's almost dead. I just need to heal up again. Otherwise, I'm probably going to die here. Uh, there we go. So we're going to be fine, I assume. Again, just don't want to engage him in hand-to-hand -hand combat. There is a block button as well, but uh, I haven't used it largely because I feel like I haven't had to. Instead, I've just been able to destroy him and eat his eggplants all day long. So let's enter into this next room. And, uh, oh, okay, that is a big Zangief there. I'm going to break you, he says, and I say bring it. Well, actually, in this situation, I think it might have been prudent to exercise a little bit more modesty because I actually am a little bit concerned about the fact that this man is uh, seemingly enormous. 
uh, and, and not in the good way. Am I right, ladies? All right, so let's roll out of the way here, get some HP up, and then summon some more bees. What's cool about that, like, spinning attack uh, is that, well, obviously right now I'm just using it to do crowd control, because once these guys die, they won't respawn, thankfully. Uh, but uh, it, it, it gives you more bees based on the amount of special meter you have. So I'm pretty sure that it just automatically uh, uses all of your special meter, but uh, if, if you only have a little bit of special meter, it'll only summon a few bees. If you have a full special meter like we do here, because we actually had a 25 hit combo, which remember was one of my perks, uh, then it creates a much better situation for us. I did get the E there, so we're at age. That doesn't do anything for us. We need to be at rage. Oh, good. There was a mushroom on the ground there. Um, that did a ton of damage. As you can see, like, there's a, a, a serious, like, weird difficulty difference, uh, varying between, uh, the, the bosses and the regular, like, lunkies. Because the, the, the flackies are super easy to kill, uh, just with button mashing, but the, the bosses are real pains in the dick. All right, so let's heal ourselves up a little bit here. Oh, I, I, oh, okay. Maybe spamming jump kicks against this guy is not going to work. Um, but on the bright side, maybe spamming bees against him will. Yeah, if you just jump into him, he's just going to beat your butt off. You know, we might as well try to do uh, this fight one more time. Again, uh, this is pretty much par for the course for me to, to uh, you know, fail uh, against this uh, boss. Or fail against the boss once and then beat him on the next try. Let's just throw our baseball bats here. Uh, Steam Trading Card Groups has posted a uh, new announcement. That's fantastic. Uh, I knew you guys were all coming here for your number one hot HD walkthrough on YouTube uh, for how to do Steam Trading Cards. I actually have no idea what that is. But I appreciate it showing up in my video, you know. Viral marketing. Uh, let's just keep these bees coming here. I think I, I do want to just spam the uh, bee ability, basically. And uh, it seems like this is actually going to be a boss where that's effective. So I do appreciate uh, that there is some variation in strategy, I guess. This is, admittedly, though, the first boss I have fought uh, where bees seem to be effective en masse instead of just uh, occasionally. Oh, no, he just got a bunch of HP for, uh, for uh, uh, kicking that bee away. So I don't even know, man. I mean, he's still losing HP, probably at a faster rate. That being said, you know, we have to do damage to him. Yeah, I don't know. I might actually just get my ass kicked here. This guy's got some seriously weird brainage going on here. We got killed again. All right, so uh, I think that's going to be my cue to end the video. I am just going to uh, quit to the title screen here. Uh, again, this is Fist Puncher. Game's all right. Uh, I wouldn't necessarily consider it uh, a must-buy or anything like that, but if you're a big fan of, uh, you know, beat-em-ups like this from the classic arcade era uh, and you're totally cool with having some tongue-in-cheek humor, then by all means, uh, pick it up. It's available on Steam for 10 bucks. Otherwise, I would encourage you to wait for some kind of a sale. Uh, of course, the elephant in the room here is if you have someone you can play local multiplayer with, I would encourage you to uh, maybe, you know, check with them, and if they're into it, do so, because this seems like the kind of game that could be cool if you just pop your friend and yourself on the couch and, and play through it. I'm not sure if it's two-player or four-player, but you can check that on Steam, and there will be a link in the video description to the store page if you're interested in that. But as always, thanks for watching, and uh, I hope you found the video entertaining or informative. Again, in the video description, there will be a link to the Steam store page. And as always, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.